Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to the next video in my Oh So Inspired September series. I hope you'll stick around, see how I'm going to be inspired today, and find out how you can play along. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of last month, I stopped by and told you about a new series on my channel. It is called Oh So Inspired September, and I am hoping to spend the month focusing on the supplies I currently have and creating new projects that are inspired by other artists out there. That intro video does go into detail about the challenge, so you'll definitely want to watch it. I have it linked in the description box below. Basically, I am asking my subscribers to submit inspiration links and then I'll stop back from time to time this month and create something new based upon the chosen pieces. There are a couple ways for subscribers to join in on the fun and I will tell you more about that later, but for now, why don't we talk about today's inspiration piece? Earlier on in the video, you saw me use random.org to choose today's piece, and before I sat down to create, I didn't know what my inspiration would be. Today's inspiration piece was submitted by Jara, who is Big G Crafts here on YouTube, and it is the card that you see up on screen now. It was originally created by Vicky W of Wizards Hangout and the pin did go to a photo but I was able to find from the watermark her blog and I could find the post of this exact card. So I will link all of those things including her Instagram account in the description box below. Some things I noticed about Vicky's card were first that it was a Christmas card. There was the little banner there with the sentiment and the Christmas tree. I also liked those small skinny strips on the left and the fact that she used some pattern paper. So as I progress today, I think you'll see what inspiration I took. Now some things I'm not going to do are the big bow because I couldn't tie something that pretty to save my life and I'm going to make the pattern paper fill the card just a little bit more. I'll talk a little bit more about how you can participate later on but for now I wanted to slow the process down and give you some more details on how I did this sentiment. You'll see when I did the die cutting of the banner that I did keep the negative space. And what I'm going to do is stamp the outline banner onto the mouse pad of my Misty. Unfortunately, with the green ink, I couldn't see it, so I did have to clean that off and use some black ink. But once I have that stamped in the background, I took the negative part and I centered that as best as I could around the stamped piece. Now, when I clean off the stamp and re-ink it with the green, I just place the banner in there and then stamp it. And this just helps with getting it straight and centered instead of just trying to center it or stamp it right on that banner with your hands. So I'm gonna do that same thing for when I stamp the sentiment later. So I'll just let you watch that as I talk more about the card. Now you will see that this stamp set does have that coordinating die and this month I am focusing on using my stash and being inspired by others. Well, I really dug into my stash for this one. This stamp and die set is from 2012 and that just goes to show you that old supplies work just as well as the latest supplies. And although I do want you to consider finding stuff in your stash to use if you're inspired to create, I do know that some of you still like to know the products I've used. So what I can find, I will link in that description box below. 
Because I want to keep this series focused on the inspiration pieces and the end product, I'm not going to spend each video like normal voicing over every step. But I do want to let you know that if you see me do something on screen or use something that I don't address in the voiceover, you can always leave me a comment or question in the comment section below, and I will definitely answer those as soon as I can. If you do enjoy today's video and you want to see more like this, I will have the entire playlist for Oh So Inspired September linked in the description box below and it will be at the end of the video as an end card. Now let me tell you how you can play along. There are a couple ways. The first is just by watching the videos, leaving comments, giving it thumbs up, and then going to visit the original posts and leaving those artists some love as well. The second is by creating your own piece inspired by today's card. You can take anything you want from that original card and create any type of project. For instance, maybe you like that big bow, so you might do a birthday card with a bow on it. Or maybe you like the color palette, or maybe you're going to go more like me and make a Christmas card with a tree on it. And again, you can make any type of project you want. Perhaps you'll make a bookmark or a framed piece. The goal is to just be inspired by other artists and create. If you do create something, I would love to see it. You can share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok with a couple special hashtags, which I will tell you about in a minute. You can also share your photo in my Facebook group. I do have a designated album for all of the Oh So Inspired September photos, and that will be linked in the description box below. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group and you do want to join, please make sure you answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules. If you do not do that, Facebook will not approve your membership request. The hashtags for today's video are up on screen now, so don't forget to use those if you post on social media. I can't wait to see what you are inspired to create. Here are some close-up looks at my finished Christmas card. At the end of the month, this will be on its way to Jera. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.